But game number one has just started. Spawning in the top right hand corner. Playing for skill forge. It is going to be the red Terran player Basior. And he is going to be facing off against the teal Terran player. Who is playing for my insanity. The teal Terran player Narcotic. Now this is of course the best of seven clan war between skill forge and my insanity. And this is going to be a very tough nut to crack for skill forge. That is for sure. Yep. Um, before we head into this series, a guy in chat says I'm a little bit too loud. Um, oh, so okay. if you could change that, that would um, be... I'm not 100% sure. Wait, I can try real quick. Let's. I can lower my mic volume if that's okay. Okay, I, I, lower, I lowered you a little bit, so I hope that it's fine right now. It just hopped um, out of the game for a little bit, but... Let's, yeah. ho let's hope that it's uh, better now and... Uh, if not, please let us know in chat so we can try and keep a close eye on that. Now, this yeah. is this opening is kind of weird in the current meta game, in my opinion, at least. Both players going to go for their barracks first, not a gas first from any of these players. Even though gas first seems to be pretty popular. But we do see yep. Bas here. Still going to go for a very quick gas. Could be for, uh, for a relatively fast factory still. Or, of course, for a Reaper to get some scouting intel going. Yep, in the European uh, meta, a lot of players do tend to go for the gas first because of Koreans who tend to do gas first. But it doesn't matter as much because both of the players are going to open quite standard, at least at the moment. Narcotic is going to send out an SCV to scout at the bottom of this map. Won't see Basio, um, but he will know that he is in the top right. And Basio, look at this, he's going to go for Reaper versus Marine for Narcotic. Quite interesting to see. Uh, what's Narcotic gonna open up after this? Because he did took his gas, and it's gonna let's we're gonna see what he's gonna do after that. Probably a fast factory into something different. I didn't see if it was, if it was a 15 gas. If that's what he chose, as a 15 gas, I he's probably so, gonna yes. go for heli. Yeah, then I believe he's gonna go for a heli drops like innovation drops to do in the TVT matchup. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, he's gonna use his first gas on that reactor. So only two Ooh. Marines are going to be out while the Reaper is going to get very close to his base very quickly. The two Marines should be able to get the job done. So I, it's a, it's still pretty normal to do so. But oh, oh. this is a little bit sloppy from Basir letting that SCV into his main base while he had the supply depot wall going there. Yeah, a little bit sloppy. Narcotic magic to scout everything. But now the Reaper from Basio is going to go up and see the fast command center. From Narcotic gonna even delay it a bit. Oh, the SLE dies, but the two Marines will push this back. So, Bessio's gonna oh. go inside and see. Oh, we got a big leg spike. Who is it? It is Penguin. Fortunately for us, the game has been hard for a little guy. sec. Yeah. Ah, well, I believe that the game should continue fairly soon. I hope that he's not streaming. I'm not actually 100% sure on that. Um, I'm not sure at all. I know that he's a team captain, so he might even not actually be streaming. No. There's a slight delay over here because a lot of, one of the observers got disconnected for a sec, so I'm gonna wait 20 more seconds, 22 more seconds to see yeah. what happens next. I don't think that we have to remake this in the worst case scenario. We can still see it from, uh, from the stream. But a very nice pause immediately from Basir as the lag was... Uh, was resolved and Penguin is still in the game so he can still continue to observe this which is going to be pretty yep. nice for him yeah I... oh go ahead hmm. now, it's a little bit of a nonsense that whenever a player or caster is lagging for one sec players gonna go crazy and say leave 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 and that's a little bit annoying no, but no, anyway, it, back it to also the depends game. on the on the tournament that you have going for you. In Go for StarCraft 2 yep. Cup, yeah, a lot of the games are very much rushed, and you don't want to spend too much time waiting for the for the observers. But in team leagues like this, you do mm. usually tend to. Oh. Yep. So Basi is gonna go inside, poke a little bit with two reapers, gonna lose one of them and the second one as well. Not before scouting a lot. I'm not sure if it's at the star port from yeah. Narcotic. But uh, alright, he saw and he saw obviously the factory and the reactor marines. So he might think that this isn't coming, but on his side, he already has a reactor on his factory, a command center on the low ground. So I want to say his positioning is a little bit better. He has uh, three less SCVs or two less SCVs, not that big. 
No, but the army supply is a little bit of a problem, and I'm a little bit worried about that because those marines, they are getting across the map. And what does uh, Basio really have to defend? He has two Hellions at the ramp. He has one marine at the at the ramp towards the main base. But other than that, he does not really have a whole lot to to defend this. He really needs those extra reapers, uh, those extra Hellions, very fast. Yeah, I mean they're gonna pop up right now, but Basio himself is gonna pull some SLV. The Hellions are defining most of them. Nice surround, and the Hellion right. reinforcing will clean up everything so nicely. An amazing defense from Basio will clean up the first attack from Narcotic. Yeah, he lost only three SCVs in that attack, kept all of his Hellions alive, and he can use that for a counter push. And don't forget that Basio already has his natural base landed in position. He had an orbital command just a little bit faster, and that is definitely going to help you in a mirror matchup like this. And Basio even going to follow this up with a Banshee. Now, I'm not quite sure how much damage that is going to be able to do with the Viking of Narcotic already being out and a second Viking on the way. But are we going to see mech from him? Uh, quite possibly could be. I mean, there's a tech lab being put, already put, and it's not being used. Another second factory. So, yeah, it looks like Narcotic is going to go for mech. Um, oh, scan from Basio. Oh, sorry, scan from Narcotic. It's going to reveal the main. See the Banshee. This is the cloak, this is the bench introduction. Uh, but he's pretty much safe. He has two Vikings out. He has a tech lab on the starport. Raven introduction, a little bit supply block. Actually, it was supply block for quite a while at the moment. So, not the best from Narcotic. But, uh, yeah. 10 Hellions against 8 at the moment. Of course, Narcotic will have his uh, defender's advantage. But it looks like Basir is going to get. Uh gonna try to get some damage done and if you can get those hellings into mineral lines that is gonna be so devastating but the banshee is also gonna be here i'm still not really convinced that it's gonna do a whole lot at least he's gonna ba bait out a few scans that is for sure and it's gonna grant the high ground vision that is also gonna be very nice yeah the banshee is already in position the viking can target fire her and looks like there are more hellings for bastia than for the karik and he's doing a lot of damage the banshee in the sky also target firing the the Hellions, but the nice scan from Narcotic can get that uh, Viking, uh, sorry, get that Banshee, but now the Hellions are with the mineral line. So many hell uh, the SCVs are gonna go down here. So much splash damage. That engagement was pretty nice for Basra. Only having a few extra units right there, and 11 workers being killed off in total. That's pretty devastating. That means that another 11 went down in this uh, in this attack, where he still traded pretty evenly. Like, 11 Hellings lost against 12, and he also, of course also lost that uh, that Banshee. But I would say that that's definitely going to be worth it. He's, Basir is currently up 16 workers, which is a pretty big deal. Yeah, even though the unit loss is almost the same, a little bit in favor of Basir, he has a lot more SCVs. The army supply is a little bit bigger for Narcotic, but it doesn't matter actually. Oh, once again, the Banshee is going to go and fly to the main base, going to target fire the workers off the gas. Um, we'll catch one of them. Maybe that second gas one? is Ooh. so crucial, and delaying that gas income is so incredibly important for Basio right now. And he, well, he, he has already identified that this is going to be a mech play. And Basio is going to go for a bio play. Stimpak is on the way, plus one attack is on the way. And he's even getting his third command center already. Or is it, yeah, it's in his main base. But now also Narcotic sending in that ban Banshee. He's not going to go for the delay on that command center. That would have been very nice for him. But Marines are gonna yep. position. Yep, no cloak on that Banshee quite yet, uh, but he will manage to um, delay a little bit. The cloak is almost done, and now there's not a lot of Marines outside. I mean, only two Marines for uh, Basio, and his Banshee could do a lot of damage. He doesn't have any energy for scans, so more missile turrets must come down. But those Marines, they're not the most important thing here, uh, I would say. Uh, keeping all of his SCVs alive is. Uh, it's a pretty important factor, but there's going to be a huge Hellion push at the front for uh, uh -oh. the front of Basio. And that siege tank is not sieged up, it's being target fired by all of those Hellions, and it went down pretty quickly. Now those Marauders, they don't take a lot of damage, but against this amount of Hellions and with those uh, auditors turrets helping out, this push is just doing so, and so much damage. Also the ramp is still open, he really needs to close that down so the Hellions do not get into the main base. But he really needs a lot of units and he really, really needs them now. The tank has spawned, but it is going to go down. Still, four, three Hellions are alive and also the mining at the natural base is still going on. But there are Hellions there too. Finally, the main base does get cleaned up. 
Will he be able to push this back? Yes, it looks like he will be. But at what cost? Yep. Yeah, I mean, he did manage to do, get a lot of SVs, um, but with this triple command center or orbital command from Basir, it won't match him a lot. I mean, uh, Narcotic is still on two bases, only four workers ahead, and even though he's gonna go for mech, he doesn't have any second gas geysers. I just natural, which is kind of bad, but now he's gonna add up two more factories, and look at the gas count that he has. He just built actually only Hellions, not making any gas units. So far, so he's in a good position overall, and the supply is a little bit in his favor. But now with this is fast third base. All these benches is gonna try to deny that, and only two mules over here, which is really really nice, gets one SV second mule as well. Uh, oh, will he get it? Nope. Nice scan at the last moment from Basel. We managed to at least push this off a little bit more. Yeah, the Banshee has quite a bit of energy, and I don't think a Missile Turret will go up here anytime soon. So this Banshee is being a very big nuisance here, and even a second Banshee is in position to get those kills going. This is very difficult to deal with, and of course, uh, it, in terms of the supply, Basior is down in supply, but you never want to be down in supply against a player who's going to go mech, because mech is going to trade way more cost efficiently than... Uh, uh, than a bio player will ever be and bio players really need to use that mobility uh any in any way that they can so i would say yep. that narcotics uh really gotten himself back into this game and he's gonna push out with a lot of aliens right now yep no seizing for basio uh at all at the moment he has only one in production heading up second factory but ooh, this oh actually this army is being spotted and basio doesn't have any anti-alien so this when she uh, almost itself could push this back a little bit. So yeah, nice exactly. one from Basia, only with this Banshee managing to get so many Hellions uh, pushed back and Siege Tank. And look, this Banshee actually can walk on those. Wow. This is, yeah, this is buying so much time for him and he's just trying to keep it occupied. Very nice sniping and focus fire on that tank. He does manage to get it and well, it looks like Basia is moving out a little bit. Another Banshee of Narcotic now being a very annoying. But Basir only needs one scan to get rid of that. Oh, just out of scan range. Very awkward scans going down. Yep, oh, now it's back in range and Narcotic. Oh, this bench is still doing a lot of damage, but now there's a lot of aliens over here. He's gonna try to see that in a good position. Oh, not a move from, from Narcotic, but not the best move from him. And Bash is gonna try to get over here. The, the siege tank is doing so much damage from behind and Basu really wants to fight where the siege tank can cover the fire but Marauders they don't wow. take so much damage from Hellions and this is a Marauder based army so many Marauders are still here and that one bench from Narcotic it is not going to cut it those uh, factories they are going to go down in no time and Marines will be reinforcing this to get rid of that bench once and for all if there is another scan available but I don't think that that is even going to be necessary Basio has a 50 supply lead and there's a GG. Basio for Skillforge takes game number one.